Fiona Onasanya is the now independent MP who was sacked from the Labour Party after she was caught lying about who was driving her car when she was clocked speeding. She lied to the police, she compared herself to Jesus, she then, I kid you not, made a video of herself pretending to snort a line of cocaine, and now she's finally being locked up. Fiona Onasanya is the first serving member of parliament to be locked up for 28 years. She always wanted to make history by becoming the first black prime minister. Well, she's not going to achieve that, but she has made some kind of history. It's her bad character that resulted in me starting the Fiona Must Go campaign. FionaMustGo.co.uk. We started a petition to encourage the MP to leave her seat and give the people of Peterborough a choice, a chance to elect somebody new, somebody who wasn't breaking the law. And you can sign that petition yourself at FionaMustGo.co.uk. We also started a fundraiser to start a Facebook ad campaign directed towards the people of Peterborough, the people that she is meant to represent. We wanted to make them aware of the wrongdoings of their own MP, because not everybody's totally engaged in politics and perhaps they didn't know. This Facebook ad campaign is now going to become more important than ever. So let me explain this. Now that Fiona Onasanya is being jailed, it isn't certain that she's going to lose her job. Amazingly, being jailed doesn't automatically mean that you lose your job as an MP. Because she's been jailed for less than 12 months, she could technically hold on to her job. And that's exactly what she's going to try to do. The Guardian reports, Sources close to Onasanya, the first serving MP to be jailed in 28 years, said she was believed to be planning to return to work as an MP once she leaves prison. She will continue to be paid while in prison, parliamentary sources confirmed. Everybody is calling on this awful woman to resign. Our petition at FionaMustGo.co.uk is calling on her to resign. Conservative MPs asking her to resign. Labour Party is asking her to resign. And so are the people of Peterborough. A woman with this total disregard, not just for the law, but for our democratic system, should never deserve to be paid an MP's giant salary and given a seat in the House of Commons. No way. But residents can do something. If 7,000 people in her constituency sign a recall petition, a by-election can be triggered, meaning we can replace Fiona Onasanya. Legislation introduced in 2015 means that any prison term leads to a recall petition. It will be open for a period of six weeks, and if 10% of constituents sign it, it means a by-election is going to happen. Uh, it's pretty much one of the only ways that you can sack an MP. But Onasanya's kind of thrown a spanner in the works with this. As I reported last time, she's made an appeal against her conviction. A trick, I suspect, to stop the recall petition from happening anytime soon, because it can't be opened, the recall petition, until the appeal process has concluded, giving Onasanya a little more time to take in her MP's salary while she's uh, locked up at Her Majesty's pleasure uh, and cling on to her job for just a little bit longer. Here's the thing. Onasanya is never going to be elected again as an MP. She won't be the first black prime minister, I'm sorry to inform her. She'll never be a Labour candidate ever again, and she, if she decides to run as an independent, there's no chance in hell that people are going to elect her again. So I think it's time for people to call on her to resign immediately. I know she's worried about losing that lovely income from the MP's salary, but the sooner she resigns, the sooner she can start looking for a new job. The recall petition won't be open for a while, but here's what we can do together. If you go to FionaMustGo.co.uk and chip in whatever amount you can afford, we're going to keep moving with this Facebook ad campaign and we're going to show tens of thousands of people in Peterborough um, what they can do. We'll make sure that everybody knows, more than 10% that are required for this recall petition, we want them all to know that this recall opportunity is happening and we want them all to join us in calling for her to go. The people of Peterborough must have the knowledge they need to stand up and kick this awful woman out of Parliament. So please go to FionaMustGo.co.uk, chip in what you can for this Facebook ad campaign, let's inform the people of Peterborough, and let's get this lawbreaker out of Parliament. Go to FionaMustGo.co.uk, sign the petition and chip in what you can, and we'll make sure we inform the people of Peterborough about this recall petition.